torque wrench really got it done, huh? Ooh, my goodness. Really don't want to take that carburetor off. I just don't, just don't want to. Oh no, my, uh, dowels. Uh, it had two in there, but we're gonna put four in there. As you can see, we had a little bit of bleed off of energy straight off here, 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 that high compression head. Another uh, quick tip is that they make solid dowels like this that would fit into here, into the side case. That's the next plus some shims for the actual crank shaft. The main thing we're trying to do is deal with vibration and that's why we're putting these in. Oh, I see. Huh, isn't that interesting? The gasket hole here is not big enough for all four of these. It's only big enough for two of them. <sighs> oh, it's something. So much for trying to get back on the water tomorrow. Here's the problem. <laughs> the hole here and the hole here is sized for the dowels here. But the holes here and here are only sized for the bolts. Right? and it won't go over the gasket, I mean, over the dowel. So it's like, well, took the old gasket in and tried to drill it out and it was just so thin, it just crinkled up just like nothing. And so we pretty much ruined that gasket. And so this is actually the original gasket that came off this motor. So that's where we are now. So now we got, now that we've hammered this in here, we got to figure out a way to take these out. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna, uh, back this one out. You know why I wear blue gloves? Because my hands are too pretty to get nasty. Let me show you something that you have to watch out for with high compression. You see that there? That means gases are getting out right there. You run high enough compression, you can actually blow the cylinder head straight off the motor. That's why we're trying to at least reinforce it some. Looks like your whole job, dude, is to mount. Okay, let's see. There we go. And just get it up snug, you know, just double tap. 